Hi everyone, hello grading students. Welcome to this um, math video lesson prepared by yours truly. This is me, Sir Lay, or you can call me Teacher Lay. So I would like to greet everyone a happy new year. Welcome 2021 to all of us. So this is the fresh start of second quarter. We have we're now on our week one. Okay, so let's start. No more uh, interest, no more thing or what. So we'll talk about linear inequality into variables. Are you ready? Yes, you must. So the following slides are the expected lessons, okay? We can expect to learn the following, okay? So it is included in your pre-assessment. So let's proceed. You will learn about this question. What is the graph of solutions of linear inequality into variables? So is it a point, line, plane, or region? Another question you um, you may learn from this video lesson is what is the uh, undefined term that separates the plane into two half planes? Okay, you learn that. And you can tell whether it is true or false that the broken line means the points on the line are included in the solution set of the inequality while the solid line means the points on the line are included in the solution set. Okay, is it a true, false, or you cannot uh, determine. Another is, we can learn that the relation null symbol in which the line is included in the solution set is either blank or blank. Okay, and you can give the inequality that described by the graph given there. And also, we can arrange the steps of graphical solutions of linear inequality into variables. Okay, I will not read these five steps any longer. Let's proceed. Okay, you can also choose two ordered pair that will satisfy the inequality. Which of the following is not a solution of 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to negative 2? And lastly, which is the graph of the inequality 2x minus y is less than or equal to 1? This is the most essential learning you can learn from this uh, video to learn how to graph a linear inequality. Okay, Meaning, we're about to solve a linear inequality. We're going to get the solution sets, all the solutions okay, that will satisfy the given linear inequality. So let's start. Okay, for our introduction, during the first quarter, you learned about linear equation into variables, right? If you can still remember it, very good. So which is in the form of y equals mx plus b or ax plus by equals c, which is the standard form. Now, the graph of linear equation is a line. Take note, the graph of linear equation is a line. So meaning all the points that belong to the line are the solutions of the equation. Now today's lesson is on linear inequality in two variables where the graph is not a line but a region. Now, below is the graph of an equation. This is the graph of an equation. Take note, so y is equal to x. So you can see it is just a diagonal line, a solid line, okay? Meaning all the points lying on that line are solution to the equation, okay? So as you can see, y is equal to x, the slope is 1, and the y-intercept is 0. And the points on the line are all solution to the equation, okay? You know that already. Now, another is the graph of linear equation is a line. Now, below is the graph of an inequality, the difference between equation and inequality. In equation, the graph is a line. In inequality, it is a region, okay? So, y is less than x. The graph of linear inequality is a region, and the points on the line are not part of the solution set. Okay, so you can see you have the broken line here in this graph, meaning the points lying on that line are not part of the solution set. Okay, take note of that. So later on, we will tackle more. And then, the, while the sh shaded part or the line um, separate the plane into two 
sides, right? So the upper part and the lower part. The lower part uh, is shaded. So meaning all those points on that region, the shaded region, are solution to the uh, inequality. Y is less than X. Take note of that. So we will discuss it further. So another one is the graph of another inequality. So this time, you can see it is solid line. The line used is solid, not broken, meaning all the points lying on that line are part of the solution set. So the same. The points on the shaded region are part of the solution set. Question. Here it is, class. How to graph linear inequalities into variables? So let's proceed so you can present the solution of linear inequality in two variables by graphical form. To graph, here are some steps. First step, write first the inequality in equation 4. Second, determine. Determine the x and y intercepts or find any two points that will satisfy the equation. Third, connect. Connect the points by a line or broken line depending on the inequality symbol. Fourth, choose. Choose a test point on either side of the line and substitute to the inequality to determine if which point may satisfy the inequality. And lastly, shade. Shade the regions where the point that satisfies the inequality below. Okay? So let's take this example. Now, the steps of graphing linear inequality, and here is our example number one. I have uh, prepared two examples. Here's the first one. Sketch the graph of x plus y is greater than 3. And the first step is, what are you going to do? Write the inequality in equation form. So, what is the equation form of our given? It is x plus y is equal to 3. That is the equation. The other one is inequality. That's the first step. Take note. Next, second step. Determine the x and y intercepts. Okay, how to get the x and y intercepts? Let y be 0 for x intercept and let x be 0 for y intercept. So this time, let y be 0. So our x intercept is 3. So the point will be 3, 0. Okay, that will be the coordinates. Another let x be 0, so the y-intercept is 3, so therefore we have 0, 3 as the coordinates. And what we're going to do next is to graph it. Okay, we have two points now, 3, 0 and 0, 3. Let's graph. That's the second step, 3, 0, 0, 3, and then we're going to connect the two points. What line are we going to use? Is it broken or solid line? We will know by identifying the symbol use or inequality symbol use if the inequality uses less than or greater than we're going to use broken line if the inequality uses is greater than or equal to a, or less than or equal to then we're going to use solid line and as you can see the inequality symbol we're uh, given in the inequality is is greater than so therefore we're going to use broken line okay now, let's move to the fourth. Okay, let's move my face as well. <laughs> oh, you stay there. Next, fourth. Choose the, a test point on either side of the line. So, we will choose a point, okay, from, is it from the upper side of the line or the lower side? So, I prefer to use the origin, okay, which is located on the lower part of the line, so lower side. So the origin, 0, 0. And then after that, we're going to substitute 0, 0, the origin, the coordinates, to the original um, inequality, which is x plus y is greater than 3. Substitute 0, 0 to test if it satisfies the inequality. If not, then it's not the uh, solution. That uh, the region that it represents, the lower side, is not the solution to the inequality. So let's try 0, 0, and it will give us 0 is greater than 3, which is 
false. So therefore, all the points lying on the lower part of the line are not solutions. Instead, those points on the upper side of the line are the solutions. Okay? Did you get it? So that is by choosing a test point. So we choose, I prefer always to choose um, the origin because it is easy to substitute. It's up to you. If you want to use 1, 1, why not? 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is greater than 3, still false. So it's wrong. So meaning we're going to shade the upper side upper part of the um, line, upper side. Get? So, now, having this shaded region, meaning all those points lying on that region are solutions to the inequality. Okay? And to check, that is the last part, by the way. Shade the regions. And to check, to 2, which is a point lying on the shaded region, if you substitute it, we'll get 4 is greater than 3 and it satisfies the equation for it is true. So that is for the example number. That is how easy to sketch the graph of a linear inequality. Just follow the five steps, okay? Let's continue for the example number 2. Sketch the graph of 2x plus y is less than or equal to 4, okay? Number one step, transform or write the first inequality in equation four. Okay, you just need to change the inequality symbol into equal sign. Then second step, get the x and y intercepts. So alam niyo na yan, how to get it. So we have 2, 0, and 0, 4. Then graph, zero, uh, 2, 0, 0, 4. And determine if you're going to use broken or solid line so of course we're going to use solid line this time because the inequality symbol is less than or equal to so we're going to use solid line next step choose a test point again i'm gonna use the origin so i'll substitute the origin the coordinates of the origin zero zero to the original um inequality so we have 2x plus y is less than or equal to 4. Then substitute 0, 0 to x and y. We get 0 is less than 4. Is it true or false? It's true. So therefore, all the points lying on the region or side of the plane where the origin located is are all part of the solution set. Okay? So we're going to shade the lower part of the line. Okay? Plus, take note, all the points lying on the line are part of the solution set as well. Okay? To check that um, the upper side are not solutions, so we use, again, 2, 2, a point with coordinates 2, 2. So, substituting the values, x and y, we'll get 6 is less than or equal to 4. And 6 is less than or equal to 4 is absolutely false okay so with that um i hope you learn how to grab just follow the five steps okay so <clears throat> thank you very much so let's wrap it like this graphing a linear inequality into three um conclusion statements graph the corresponding equation Use a dashed line for inequalities with greater than or less than to show that the points on the line are not solutions. Now, use a solid line for inequalities with greater than or equal to or less than or equal to to show that the points on the line are solutions. Second, the line you drew separates the coordinate plane into two half planes. Now, test a point in one of the half planes to find whether it is a solution of the inequality. Third, last, if the test point is a solution, shade the half plane it is in. If not, shade the other half plane. So that will be all. I hope you learn um, graphing how to graph linear inequality into variables. So you may um, watch other videos if this is not enough. If it is enough, 
very well and i'm so glad having you uh and that's all thank you very much everyone enjoy doing your tasks all the learning tasks assigned to you also the integrative assessment given by your subject teacher god bless and that's all